how grateful I am to have somebody who does not complain about the little things and really tolerates the little things that are important to me, like going into Ikea. Because, uh, ooh, child. We've had quite the experience. <laughs> y'all happy tuesday welcome back to my channel today is my last day off and i'm home i'm currently making some curry chicken and um i don't know what i'm gonna make with that yet there is some rice to the fridge so maybe we're gonna eat rice with that or maybe i'll bake sweet potato because the last week and a half we have been eating the absolute worst so i'm trying to see if i can fix that and eat a little bit better so cooking even though today i had a burger i was starving and we were on the road all day so i literally had to just buy a burger but, um i'm cooking now to make sure that for tomorrow and for the rest of the week we have lunch to take with us well him specifically not me because i'll still have time to like come home and cook and stuff like that but i'm making sure that i meal prep so I'm trying to do that right now because tomorrow he goes back to work. And the one thing about the cooking with us, we alternate. So yesterday he made dinner. He made an amazing dinner. I'll put a picture on the screen here. And then today I'm cooking. So it never really feels like you're just slaving away in the kitchen, which I literally hate. So um, that's what is going on. So I'm making some curry chicken and stuff and trying to edit a video and watching some videos all at the same time. But um, yeah, I just wanted to pop in and start a vlog. So I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow or so. I'm here trying to get ready for work. Um, let me zoom you out because I will tell you, my girl is not dressed. I'm trying to organize this cupboard here because it kind of looks bad. So I'm trying to move a few things around and the things that are empty, this first shelf, I'm trying to get it together, right? So all the things that are empty, I'm trying to compile them. Like there were two vanilla extract bottles. I just have to pour the other one inside of this. Put that in the back of it. Put this in the back. I don't use that that often. The things that I don't use too often, I like to kind of keep them tucked away. So the things that I do use often, I will have those up front. So that's what I'm trying to do here. I transferred my Jamaican powder seasoning into here. And I have some more up top here to mix in here. But I need it to be organized. And I had this small thing of paprika and I had this big thing of paprika that was new. I had a small thing of black pepper, a small thing of crushed red peppers. I just transferred everything into one and I'm throwing it. One thing about me, I do not hoard anything. I'm currently making two sandwiches do. One to eat for breakfast right now, one to take to work with me. But what I mainly wanted to do was make a nice cup of coffee. I'm gonna make it more blonde, so literally less coffee. Just enough to give me a little something. Because I feel like coffee has been giving me migraines. So I'm trying to not drink as much, but sometimes I really feel like I could use the extra something, you know? So we're trying here. That's extra. I do use that. This could go there. Everything else there is fine. And look how much room I've opened up. Wow. Love that for me. I could put this up here as well. So there's so much space and everything is nice and organized and I can put the salt back. The salt is almost done and then I have another one. And I definitely think I'm gonna get a salt and black pepper shaker that I can keep on display. And then I'm gonna put these, the salt and black pepper shaker on the same thing. So that should be great. All right, salt. And that's it. So right now I'm gonna make a little coffee. But like I said, very much blonde. So I have just enough coffee in the cup for me to taste it. I'm gonna have some condensed milk and some creamer. So it's really gonna be blonde, like I said. And then I have this omelet going. I've been up since sometime after seven. Right now it's 8.13. So I'd say I'd be, I've been up for like 30, 45 minutes. I think Mr. is the one who told me that I can still drink coffee, but less. 
and I don't know why I didn't think about that. I've also been going, the battery just died and I had to change it, but I was saying that I've also been going around and like organizing the fridge because I find that everything is just everywhere and when you go through and do like a good organize, you find out more things could hold, so I definitely wanted to do that. Um, a couple of days ago we went into Ikea and I definitely saw a storage system that I do want for the kitchen. Uh, There's so many things that I saw. So right now on my list of things that I need a higher table that is counter height, I saw that in Ikea yesterday. I need a storage system for the kitchen for around that corner where I have like my little bar set up. I saw that in Ikea yesterday and I need a wardrobe system for instead of the bedroom and definitely saw that yesterday. So it's just a matter of getting each item here and there. And now that I know that Ikea does have it, I just go back one day and scoop all the items I want or I could just send Mr. because I know exactly what I want and he has no issues going. He loved the experience of being inside of Ikea. To be completely honest, he really tolerates me wanting to go here and wanting to go there and let's go in this store and he never complains. That same day, I had quite a bit of running around to do. I had to go to the post office among other things and he was just chilling in the car and that was literally his last day off before he had to return to work the following morning and he just was not complaining and I can't stress enough how grateful I am to have somebody who does not complain about the little things and really tolerates the little things that are important to me like going into Ikea because uh, oh child we've had quite the experience <laughs> all right so I'm just packaging up my little sandwich for later because honestly there is a deli right across the street from my lady's house and a girl's not trying to spend no money no extra spending this entire month all right so i'm gonna take this sandwich i'm gonna take an orange and an apple the other day i got over the fear of taking the train and when i say the fear of taking the train i was afraid because of how these days they're just pushing people off underneath there and it's so scary and so one sunday i had to go to work and i didn't want to get there late but i also did not want to uber i said you know what whatever I'm gonna take the train. I was taking it for years when I was going to the Bronx, so I'm gonna just go down there and take it. It's gonna be okay. And I went, and I took one, and when I transferred to the L train, that's where I started seeing the homeless people. And luckily for me, I was going about three or four stops, and the homeless people that were in that cart that I was in, other people were in there too, because I'm very intentional about not going in the carts that are very empty, nor the carts that don't have nobody, because listen, if somebody's gonna attack me, I needed to be in a cart where other people can help defend me if it's not a day where people feel like minding your own business <laughs> you know because sometimes it just be like every man for himself in this world i'd sit down i could bring those two cookies too oh i'm wondering what that is but it's definitely not on the wall I just saw two cookies too that I think I could definitely bring with me. I'm not even combing my hair and putting a baseball hat on because I don't want to have to deal with that. But, um, you know, right now I think we kind of live in a world where it's like, man, every man for himself. I'm not minding my business and you know what I mean? And it's so sad, but it's so true. Gotta get my water for my vitamins. And like I said, you know, I didn't have to go too far in either of the trains. And so it wasn't a terrible experience for me, but I'd be so afraid. But I went on there and then when I realized that it wasn't too bad and I wasn't going too far, I decided that, all right, maybe... I could take it more often to save time so I can stay home a little bit longer and still get there within a good time. So I think I'll end up doing that today as opposed to taking the bus because when it's cold outside, it, there are some moments where it's like one of the bus. When you take one to go transfer to the other one, waiting on the transfer, you have to stand there for upwards of 20 minutes depending on the day. During the week, it's not too bad. Like on the weekend, it's atrocious. So I take these alive vitamins. I think I've showed you guys the vitamins that I take already. I feel like I want to switch to something that is just one pill that has everything in there, like a ritual or something like that. So I'm trying to do my research. I take this fish oil and omega three. Omega three omega is really, really good. And I, I grew up hearing my mom talking about omega three. And I take this vitamin D3. So for now, that's all the vitamins I take. And one thing I realized about taking these vitamin vitamins, and this might be TMI, but they will make you constipated. And I suppose it's because you're taking like a few different things mixed together. So gotta have the stool softeners on deck. Just in case 
case you need them because you never know. Because you will be in that bathroom ripping your butt to shreds, literally. Anyways, I'm gonna eat and clean up and get ready to go. So maybe the next time you guys will see me so I'm, I'm already there or maybe tomorrow, I don't know.